Well, top of the morning to you guys. When you see this, it's going to be very, very early in the States. But I just wanted to come uh, and greet you again. I'm standing here with two of our uh, mission team members. This is Margarita from Colombia, and this is Shelly Ann from Jamaica. And they have been so refreshing to be around. What's exciting is our team is full of internationals. It's got Americans, people from the Netherlands. It's got Margarita from Colombia, Shelly Ann from Jamaica, all coming to uh, Taror, Uganda to give of themselves to train uh, missionaries, to, to, to encourage people to dial in to an intimacy with God. And as Lamplighter Ministries, we're joining and partnering with 111 Global Team as they do this because we have a heart to see God magnified in northern Uganda. So I was just going to say, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about why you're here, what you're doing, and what you're hoping to see in this nation. So one of the reasons we're here is to train people on how to do worship, how to sing the Bible, and how to connect with the Father in a very real and personal way. Um, and the reason I'm personally doing it is because it's so beautiful to see people connect and get a little bit more about the gospel through worship and through singing. It gives them a personal way to encounter God on their own without having to depend on somebody else, but actually making it their own and making it their own journey with the Lord. Yeah, and I'm here because I just love Uganda and I think God has a heart for Uganda. He has great purposes for Uganda and this is their time. This is their season to arise. We know that God is doing something all across the earth. He's awakening the nations to sing and Uganda has a voice that needs to be heard. And so we're just here playing our small part to train their singers and their musicians to equip them with boldness and confidence to know that God loves you. He has a plan and a purpose for you and you are destined to sing that the nations will know and be able to testify that Jesus is Lord. Yeah, you know, I'm reminded as, as when we talk about singing, you know, singing was represented worship in the Old Testament by incense. And when the priest wanted to get in the presence of God and actually speak to God face to face, that they would burn a special incense. And you know, today, when we sing and we worship, it's like burning a sweet incense before the Lord and it invites His presence. And when His presence is in us, it leads us, it guides us, it fulfills us, and it, and it allows us to walk in the purpose for which we're created. So it's exciting to partner with what God's doing here in Northern Uganda and in Southern Uganda and in Africa and all through the nations of the earth. And these young ladies are giving their life to see that reality happen everywhere. So thank you for joining us. I hope your morning's good. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Look forward to connecting with you again.